So we're inviting uh, motorists, businesses and residents to find out more about our plans to jewel the three miles of the A303 in Somerset between uh, Spartford and Ilchester. This is ahead of construction starting in September uh, with the route promising to transform journeys in the southwest. Um, our works are going to start with preparation work on site in August. Um, so our first tasks are going to be putting up fencing, clearing vegetation and creating site compounds um, with our main work starting in September. Um, this is going to include things like building temporary roads on site so we can move uh, materials without um, using the local roads. And we're also going to be excavating the foundations uh, for our bridges. Um, so it's, it's worth saying that we won't see any uh, road work that impact the current mode until March 2022. And there's lots of, um, for example, there's going to be a text message system, isn't there? You're doing lots to try to alert drivers when the, the main restrictions, the main diversions all, um, all begin. Yep, so we aim to keep the diversion routes to a minimum. Um, so where diversion routes are necessary, we're working closely with Somerset County Council and our, our key stakeholders. Um, so this is mainly to ensure that the routes are suitable and that our works are coordinated with, with other agencies as well. Um, our virtual exhibition is going to stay live through the entirety of the works. Um, and yes, you're right, we're starting, uh, we'll be launching a text alert system next year. So um, it creates lots of ways that people can stay stay informed about potential diversions or roadworks. And this is a scheme that's been talked about for years and years. You're finally making it happen. What kind of reaction have you had from people about the plans and how much are they costing? So, yeah, the, the scheme itself is, is incredibly important for Somerset's future. It's vital to the A303 and the A35 corridor. Um, so it's part of the biggest investment in our road network for a generation. Um, so uh, we've got we've got great support um, from a project perspective. It's exciting that we're we're now close to work starting in September. Um, and then the scheme is going to support economic growth and facilitate growth in jobs and housing. Um, and that's by creating a free flowing and reliable connection between the southeast and the southwest. And at the exhibition, what exactly will people be able to find out about? Is there still any scope for people to have their say or potentially influence some of the work that's going to be taking place? So the exhibition will uh, detail out how we're planning on phasing the works. Um, it will also cover things like our environmental considerations, uh, our planned road works um, and, and things like that's how we affect air quality and, and provisions for walkers, cyclists and horse riders. Um, with regards to um, influencing the scheme, there, there will be um, a live chat available between uh, midday and eight o'clock on uh, the 22nd and 23rd of July on the exhibition, uh, where people um, with questions and queries can contact the project team directly. Can you just remind me, where does this sit in the wider A303 upgrade? What phase is this? What will you be looking at or where are you up to in terms of other phases at the moment? So this is uh, the first stage of uh, the A303 corridor works, which are really important for the corridor between the uh, with the A303, A358 corridor. Um, and, and then other projects will be progressing as a result uh, following on from those works.